Hey guys. So, Sunday at 12.45, I am going to be getting baptized. And I couldn't be more nervous because I don't know these people. It's a big church. They don't have a baptismal pool in the church. Is that the way it is in all these mega churches now? Every church I ever went to growing up, behind the pastor was the choir. And then, like, lifted above that was where you could see into the baptismal pool. And you put on a white robe with appropriate attire underneath because you know what happens when white gets wet. And they do an introduction and they ask you if you, you know, are, if you know that Jesus is who he says he is, you know, the whole spill that they do. Um, but these, they don't have anything. They have a kiddie pool. There's no way that they're going to be able to dunk me backwards. I have six foot one long legs and I cannot bend at the waist backwards. So I'm thinking that when I talk to them, if it's any different, let me go forward so that I feel like I have some kind of control because I'm afraid of water. And if they drop me in the water, I'm going to freak out. And that's exactly what everybody would want to see on the video. Me traumatized from a baptism. And it's kind of funny, but it's not. Because it is true. I'm scared of water. Um, and I'll be alone. I'll be alone. Thought my mama was going to come. She said, I'm going to try to make sure you're there. I'm there for your surgery. Try to make sure that you're there for my surgery. No. I have to have somebody there for my surgery. They have to be family. And that's all I got. That's all I got. There would be nothing that would keep me away from watching Peyton getting baptized. Well, he already has gotten baptized. And there would be no way in hell that anybody would keep me away if he was having cancer surgery. Especially when they don't really 100% know what they're doing yet till they get in there. I am lonely here. My mom hasn't come around since, I think it was March or April when I had my bone graft. She stayed the 
24 hours after and went home. She doesn't stay longer than she has to. If it's 48 hours, then that, two, that second day she's right, she's going home. That's not the way. Does your, would that, the, would that be the way that your mother would do? I don't even know if I know what, what it feels like to have a mother. I'm sorry. But I really don't have any, I don't have another family member. Or anybody else I can trust. And I use that term very loosely. I just don't understand. As much as I love my son, I'm not loved in the same way. And it hurts. It sucks so bad being alone 24-7. I'll look at my phone and it'll say Friday. And then a couple days later, it'll say Friday again. Don't have money to go shopping. And why would I do that anyway? I've got enough stuff. I'm posting stuff getting rid of it. on Facebook Marketplace. So, if you go to April Macon, M-A-C-O-N, Ray, or April M. Ray, you'll be able to pull up what I've got for sale. And I've got a bin down here I'm posting tonight. I feel like There's things I just need to get rid of. Purge it. If I need it in three years, just get it again. I want to make enough money to buy a bread maker so I know what goes into my bread. Because I'm sorry, but they delivered me Walmart bread. And I let that bread sit unopened because it's disgusting on my pantry shelf for months and it never molded. What is in this stuff? So I got to figure out a way living in this place to cut as much stuff like that out of my home as possible. It is more expensive to make your own bread, but it's good bread. And it's bread you can put psyllium husk and flax seed and rolled oats on the top of the bread and get extra fiber. And don't we know I need extra fiber? But anyway, enough about that. I just, I don't have anybody to talk to. So whenever I get upset, I just pick up the phone and I start recording because that's the only thing I can do. There must be another man somewhere or she's back with the same man because she let him run. Okay, I almost said a, a Southernism. R run 
in Alabama and the South is ruin. So if I say she let him ruin her relationship with her kids, it means she let him ruin her relationship with her kids. Comment below if you think that is a very strange interpretation of that word. Please send me hugs and love and butterflies and hearts below because I'm not okay right now. I'm scared and I've got like 12 more days, almost two weeks to go. My hair needs to be washed. It's, I'll do it in a minute. I'm going to finish doing this stuff. And then I'm going to go and... I should have done it last night. But I didn't. So, yeah. What do you do when you don't have anybody to take you to the hospital? Or drive you home? Nobody there to be your voice when you are voiceless. Should I trust that she would make the right decision? Or could there be an ulterior motive? I don't know. But my will is made. That's all I'm saying. Anyway, please comment something to help me below. Um, I love you guys. I appreciate you. I'm grateful for each and every one of you. You're my family. God bless you all, and I'll see you tomorrow night on my live. Bye.